2003 was a year with many highs and lows in the area of space and science. So we asked some of our experts in the field what their top stories were. I think the, uh, the, the demise of the Space Shuttle Columbia in February of 2003 would be the number one space science story of the year. Um, the Lehman report was issued shows there's a huge amount of work ahead for NASA and uh, for the U.S. administration to try and make sure that they're going to get back into space safely and uh, continue the construction of the space station. It rocked not only the world of space exploration, but the entire planet. Everybody who followed the exploration of these astronauts, the building of the International Space Station, and the incredible amount of dedication that these people took to their jobs every single day. So I think we really have to take a step back, and when we think about 2003, that that's one of the main things that we need to reflect upon. It was a very unfortunate incident. Um, unfortunately, there was uh, you know, a great loss of life which has led NASA to review their procedures and their engineering procedures and actually as of Tuesday, December 2nd, they've signed an agreement with NAVC which is the equivalent of NASA but for a naval exploration and they are going to now um, work with NAVC to have these critical investigation committees for their missions to ensure that uh, especially human payloads, like when you have astronauts, that that will be a lot safer, which is extremely important. The irony uh, related to Columbia is that it was about a year ago that NASA very, very quietly uh, shut down the whole concept of going to an alternate replacement vehicle for the shuttle. The disaster fundamentally and inexorably and unalterably changed all of that. The uh, lasting legacy of the uh, brave people of Colombia is that um, their deaths in a, a very real way, I believe, have forced NASA to go for that replacement technology.